So can these guys kill me? I don't really want to kill them right now. I don't think this guy can get me. Look, level 100 pack? It can't break my barrier. I'm standing like on the arcane beam. Yeah, it can't damage me. Oh yeah. It pretty much one-shots everything. <laughs> I'm not even low life, man, and it already one-shots stuff. Yes. Level one potion, by the way, here. Weak healing potion, man, that's the meta. <laughs> and about Druid always being uh, such a challenge. Pega. And now people like can introduce like Shred into this build. Boom. Just shoot them out of their misery. Well, I'm supposed to be like a low life version, but a high life is just working. <laughs> I don't really feel I need to flinch or change. Hey, why is it hitting so high, dude? It's like hitting for 160 million. Why? Why, why is the damage so insane, guys? I actually don't know. Like, the damage looks absolutely ridiculous. Like, as in way too high. Doesn't it? Like, it's hitting for like 150 million plus. Is it supposed to do that? I don't remember. Like, I mean, it was like scaling with the life of the enemies. But I don't remember it being that crazy. Right? <laughs> Look at this! Boom! Boom! I mean, like, dude, like, just coming even from Bob, man, to Druid, this is just, like, so much better than anything that Bob can do. <laughs> you know, like, it's like, I'm not even like, I have uh, like 80% damage reduction while injured and I don't even need to play injured because I just have full life all the time. Yes? And look at the pulls we can do as well, like... 166. 70. Like, it's just craziness. It's exclamation mark bulwark. Uh, casually hitting for 360 million. <laughs> yeah, just threw it things, dude. Okay, there was like a damage reduction guy there for a sec. But he didn't even do anything. Boom. Okay, here we have the next guy. Oh, I don't know, I just one-shot him. <laughs> okay, that's the run, guys. And I think I have like one glyph. This one. Shape shift, that's not even level 15. So I might want to level that one. <laughs> yeah. It's a bull work through it. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good build. Druid is a pretty balanced class next to Rogue. Anyways, let's go over the current setup. I'm gonna put the planner in the description as well with the optimal stuff, cause um here on the helm we play basic skill, grand damage reduction. Um, this one ideally has barrier generation because our bulwark is scaling with the enemy HP and also with how much barrier you have. On a chest I actually just have it imprinted from the codex because I I don't know, I, don't know, I barely play, like I have like 15 hours, 20 hours played on this druid so I don't even have all the stuff. But yeah, bulwark ranks, damage reduction 
and ideally you have a bit higher roll here for some more uh, damage with barrier. Then we have basic skills, we use our basic skills to reset our cooldowns with Nature's Fury, so we need high attack speed on our basic skills, Disobedience here, fully uh, defensive, and you can see here I have like this damage reduction while injured, like on this piece, on this piece, and on the amulet, so I have like a bunch of uh, injured damage reduction, but I didn't even use it in this run because like I'm just like that tanky even without it. So I don't even know. Yeah, I have 80.1% damage reduction when I'm injured. Like I have 43, 43, and 38. It's crazy. Uh, then we are playing the crane uh, stuff here. Great stuff of crown is really good because this one gives us basically the ability to cast like both of our uh, generators. Claw is causing a storm strike. And it just gives us double reset for our amulet, which resets our bulwark cooldown, 14 seconds cooldown. We get 8 and another 8 damage reduction here, really good. Then we have a Barber Heart in the amulet. Uh, we have uh, a Devious Heart here that pulls enemies in our ring. This is actually pretty bad. It's also like just from the Codex, just like my chest. So I just threw together this build and this is already one-shotting for like 350, 400 million in uh, Nightmare Dungeon 100 here. Uh, pretty strong build and... Uh, yeah, casting uh, storm skills uh, grants our earth skills uh, damage, and yeah, we're casting uh, storm skills with our claw and the staff here with storm strike. So that's pretty damn strong. Like I said, uh, you want a lot of barrier generation, get a bunch of uh, stats from that. I'm actually like, how much life do I, how much barrier do I have here when I press my buttons? So we have like 10k barrier, and that's giving us like more damage for our bulwark basically. On the Spirit Boons, we are playing Wernus here, damage reduction for Melites, uh, attack speed to reset faster. Attack speed is really important stat. Uh, critical strikes reset the companions, like if we went the offensive route here with Poison Creeper, that gives us uh, more DPS, more crit chance. And Bolster, this is how we fortify, like we just like, you know, we just press our buttons and uh, fortification goes up basically, right? And that's how we like get all our fortified here. Boom, there was a hundred pack here and like we just press our fortify a second time. And it just basically one-shots everything. That's uh, how the build works, pretty much. It's a pretty chill build, if you're asking me. Look here, boom, the pack just spawns, boom, gets hit for 45 million in the face, and just instantly dies, giving us uh, some not so useful gem. But it's, it's rank 5, maybe we'll keep it. Actually costs more life on rank 5. And yeah, like I said, it's not even like fully, um, fully uh, specced out in all the skills. So skill tree, we are playing uh, one point in Storm Strike and all the runes here. This makes stuff vulnerable. Uh, we get uh, Claw with a chance to attack twice. So we get nine ranks from our um, staff, <laughs> which <laughs> obviously is very strong. So we get like rank 10 here and we just like Claw just cast Storm Strike and that's easy. Uh, here we just have like crit chance against close enemies and some movement speed. Uh, Bulwark uh, with the barrier rune here that does damage. Uh, Cycle Armor. Um, just a bunch of defensive stuff here, uh, damage reduction after we use defensive skills, we pretty much have like many defensive skills. And then we use this one here for 20% crit chance, poison creep, but also poisons enemies. We have a lot of damage reduction from poisoned enemies, pretty good stuff. Uh, we have the hurricane here, less damage even uh, from the monsters. Then we have a bunch of like earth kill multipliers uh, here. And venom, this is how we get our crit damage against poisoned enemies, again, uh, our poison creeper, poison stuff. And we also poison stuff ourselves whenever we crit with any werewolf skills, which is uh, basically uh, all of these as well, because they just become uh, werewolf skills of claw. And that's how we poison stuff as well. But on range, we can just poison them with poison creeper. And we have all the uh, earth skill, nature magic stuff here. Another damage reduction here where we shapeshift. We always shapeshift into werebear when we attack. And nature's fury, this is the key passive. This has been buffed a couple patches ago. It's just insane. It gives us a free... Uh, skill and uh, whenever it triggers and casts it's also gonna uh, trigger our amulet when edge of key, key passive triggers we get a non-ultimate cooldown for free pretty strong pretty good stuff defensive on the heart here uh, pull hard and barber obviously cannot miss in any build and you see we can just attack the air and reset our cooldown you guys see this like we just like boom and the faster attack speed that we have the more chances we have to trigger Right, but this is how we just uh, constantly attack, basically, and cast our bulwark and have crazy, crazy barrier. On the Paragon tree, 
Um, we are playing pretty defensively orientated. Territorial here in the first board. Heightened matters. 1.45 multiplier. One of the best. I think this is actually the best passive in the game. Just imagine you had this on Barb, man. <laughs> Three bleeding enemies gives you 1.45 multiplier. No. <laughs> on Barb, we have like the, <laughs> the most useless stuff. But yeah, this one is pretty insane. Um, and we are playing Fang and Claw here. We're obviously in Werewolf all the time. So this one works really well. A Shapeshifter. This one is not even maxed. Uh, so right now I have to like choose this uh, like Dex Node. Usually I can like save these points and get this Dex Node because it's gonna be uh, rank four when I level it uh, for radius. I don't have that right now. I'm leveling it. It's like level eleven. So a couple runs and then I get it and I can use uh, the last points uh, down here to get some additional armor. Basically, it's all in the planner in the description. Um, and yeah, then we pretty much have Protector here. Um, just more damage reduction where we have a barrier. And again, with Bulwark, we always have barrier. There's like pretty good rare nodes everywhere here. Crit damage, physical damage, maximum life, armor. Pretty good stuff. And then we have the Werewolf here. Even more damage while we are in Werewolf. And uh, some damage reduction when we're in Werewolf. And lastly, we have Undaunted. We are fortified with our Bolster all the time. And another 10% damage reduction and more damage. And we get the Fortify. Uh, by just casting uh, defensive skills, like here. Boom, Fortify goes up, area goes up, and then we can just like keep resetting and keep casting all this stuff. And see, our Fortify uh, just goes to the max. It's uh, pretty easy. And yeah, that's how it goes. That's the Bulwark Druid, guys. Pretty, pretty strong build. Hope you enjoyed this overview. How you inflict bleed? Yeah, this is a druid build. It's inflicting poison with a poison creeper. It's not inflicting bleed. It was just an example um, for the Bob stuff, yes? All right, let's do one with a boss. Sarah's Liar. Just do this one fast and blast. I'm playing low life, but I'm not even needing low life. Whenever I drop to low life... Okay, I mean, there's a ch chance that I get one shot at 40% HP. But it's pretty unlikely. Oh, really, Broiler? No, I didn't know that. I mean, when I was, I absorbed myself just, like, attacking... I mean, I just made this character. Like, I literally have, like, a... <laughs> the base imprints of all the stuff in my things, but yeah. yeah. We played a bit before, and it was already pretty strong back then. But no, I did not know that. It's just getting even stronger. Okay, let's see if we can make... Uh... Yeah, it's just the damage is just insane. If we can make low life version. Okay, I mean, the poison hits us pretty hard when we don't have barrier, yes, in this tier, or in this dungeon. I, I think I saw the video where the guy added Shred, uh, just for some more mobility, and I think that was pretty cool. At least get, like, more uh, charges. I don't have the evade charges on my boots fully. But yeah, it looks pretty strong. Oh, I, did, I forgot to uh, kill the pack. <laughs> uh, and then, like, the pull makes it so strong, too. I don't know, maybe I should stay in low life. But in low life, I feel like I have to pay so much attention to just, like, staying in low life. Let's see. Okay, now we are on... Is it low life? Oh, we have a bit too much life. I think this is the most dangerous life, because... It, if they hit me now, I'm not tanking it in one shot. I, I feel like I don't even need no life. I have like 80% damage reduction while injured right now. I just don't need it. It's crazy. <laughs> it's hitting for so much, dude.
Didn't even press the healing well. Low life, man. Just stay full life. 50 million, it's fine. <laughs> man, they broke this build even more this season. I remember it was already super strong, but now it's just crazy. Bloop, 85 million in his face, dude. <laughs> it's just so strong, man. <laughs> what did they do, man? Oh, oh almost tempest raw, guys. It's fine. Uh, my gem is level 11. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it up. This is way stronger than anything, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is bulwark fun, guys. I mean, this is like next to Rogue, the strongest class in the game right now. Just throw together some random items and start hitting for 300 million in these dungeons, man. Bulwark Druid. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna put the planner in the description. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like or a comment. I'm also live on Twitch almost every day, so come and say hi.